Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome Tinkercad iPad tutorial. So let's get cracking. So, friends, this one is going to work a little different. There will be a link in the description of this video if you want to use that. But also, if you're on your iPad in Tinkercad, just click the search. And then up here, I want you to type Tinker Log. T-I-N-K-E-R-L-O-G, and when you press enter, you will find the tutorial included Tinker Log Cabin Project. Friends, I love this lesson. If you'll take time to give it a reaction, I would appreciate it. Right now, though, all you need to do is hit copy and tinker. All right, everybody, so when this launches, I'm going to hide that for a moment. You have got what I call Tinker Logs. This is a take on Lincoln Logs. I want to show you just how fun this can be. You can click on the piece that you want to reuse. So I'm going to click on this right here. And if I hit duplicate right up there, I can just take the new one and lift it up and put it right where it goes. It's set for one millimeter. So I made these parts so they actually matched. And then you can just keep doing that all the way around your project. So right there, I had two pieces selected. Notice I just canceled and I grabbed just that one. And then if we hit duplicate, and we raise and I'll try and keep my hand out of the way it's that easy to build your tinker logs so right now I'm gonna click here so that I've got the two pieces selected notice it tells me I have two shapes I'm gonna hit duplicate it did an auto move so I'm gonna just move those forward so I'm dragging them right here and then I want to drop them down so I went down two chunks let's zoom in a little closer so we can find this black handle so I'm going to just use the plus. I'm going to drag so I can see better. And I'll just do one of these at a time. But I want to use the black handle in the middle. And I want to just shrink that. Now I had the white handle so it did two directions at a time. If you ever make a mistake, just do undo. I'm going to pinch this so I can get a little closer. I got that black handle. And that was just letting me move it. I'm going to show you that it actually moved. So I'm going to undo that. Let's try this one more time where I'm trying to just get that black handle and I'm trying to shrink it. And I'll show you why we're doing it. So there, I did it correctly. And the more you play with this, the better you'll get at it. There, I've got two handles, so I don't like it. So I'm going to undo and I'm just going to nudge it back. I'm going to do that with both of them. And you might get good at doing this even with the white handle. Let's zoom out. Hey, that was actually working pretty good. I'm going to make sure I just got that one. And friends, what we just made was our doorway. That's how easy these things are to work with. Right now, I'm going to do two fingers to pull it over. Let me show you how to make the next two pieces of the wall. So there's click, click to have those two selected. Let's do duplicate. Let's lift them up. Notice I missed, so I undo. Now I do have those two pieces still there, so I had to find them. Now I accidentally had three pieces, so this is where you're kind of like playing and you know you got your little brother or sister with you and they're messing up your stuff. Right now though it's just us messing up our stuff. There's my one two clicks, here's my duplicate, and let's raise those up as well. Once again I've got the extra one back there, but actually it worked out. So we had more than one selected. We just need to keep an eye on how many shapes we have selected. Don't forget if you make a mistake, just do undo. Make sure you keep an eye on how many pieces you have selected. I only want one and I'm going to make a window. Notice I was using the white handle, but I was able to get that right where it was supposed to be. Not a problem. Now I'm going to use duplicate and I'm going to move it over and check it out. We've got the start of a window area and we can just shrink it to the exact size we want. How cool is that? Click, click, so I've got them both selected, and I'm going to hit duplicate. Now, notice that moved. I don't want that. So I'm going to just delete it, and I'm going to click these two again. And now when I hit duplicate, I'm going to lift it up. I already made the duplicate. I just got to lift it. There it is. Now, if I hit duplicate again... I can lift it up and my window is now three high, just like that. Friends, as you get parts that you like, 
you can lock them that way they won't move anymore so that is a smart strategy I did not want this top one locked so I wasn't looking at how many shapes I had selected you do need to keep track of that but you just keep duplicating and moving as you make your awesome log cabin alrighty friends so as you can see I went ahead without you and I just added some more pieces along this side I used the exact same techniques you just made and BAM we have got a log cabin remember it's just duplicate nudge as you keep using these logs again and again to make this as incredible as you want it can be a fort it can be anything friends right now I want to teach you how to make a roof we're gonna bring out our parts right here and we need to find this green piece now if you've played with real Lincoln logs this piece is actually red so I'm gonna change it to red and it's also real skinny but for this project I'm actually going to show you how to leave it large so I'm going to use this black handle to stretch it wider don't want to rotate remember if you do any oops is just undo and I want to find that handle and I want to stretch it across so that way it matches my building let's lift it up to the right height check it from a corner to make sure that you've actually got it I'm gonna have to zoom out so I can see mine I'm gonna hide these little windows so we've got a better view let's zoom in remember you can also use the plus and let's put this where it would belong so we're just checking our measurements and you can pick the height you want so once you've got that in place remember if you make any mistakes you can just hit undo this may be a smart time to lock your entire house let me show you this cool trick for grabbing a bunch of things if you do double click grab it takes a lot of practice but the better you get at it you can lock a bunch of things at once double click grab now see that time I missed that time I got them and I've got everything except the roof so they're all locked so now I can work on my roof and not worry about making mistakes pinch this so I can see that handle a little better let's pull that down one so boom now my roof is connected remember if you accidentally drag it just let go and then the way these work is there are two of them but we'll do that when we're done right now we're just gonna add the planks bring back your tools bring back your work plane put your work plane on the roof bring out the red rectangle first I'm gonna shrink the height I want each of these to be instead of 20 backspace I want them to be one millimeter thick remember we just drag down to do that and then for these measurements I'm gonna click the white corner I want this one to be two once again backspace and it's pulled down to type the number and these also need to be green let's fix that while we're at it too so if you looked at that it said two shapes now it says one and there's my green stick now this number may be different for you minus 20 but my building is longer so I'm gonna try 30 for my measurement and see if that stretches all the way across and then I'm gonna pull it down into place 30 does not so I'm gonna click that corner again and let's try 35 backspace 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 and actually I'm gonna stay with an even number I'm gonna do 34 and tell it okay if I've got that where I like that's pretty darn cool I think I'm gonna change that thickness from one though this will look more realistic if we do point five that's how those roof sticks really look now we're gonna duplicate that right up the roof friends watch this duplicate pull the piece up now if you make a mistake you're gonna have to undo I do have two there so I'm gonna just nudge it two up and if I hit duplicate again now because the other one had a mistake it broke the chain but now that I didn't have a mistake watch this duplicate 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 all the way up my awesome roof <laughs> I don't know what I grabbed right there but we will delete that with the delete key and I have to remake that last one let's see if I hit duplicate if it was still there no it wasn't I'm gonna zoom in a couple clicks I'm gonna pull that one up 
to its rightful home. Now friends, we just do the same trick over on the other side. Once again, work plane. And then we already know these measurements. It's 34 by 0.5 by 2. So let's bring out a cube. Let's look at it from an angle. I'm going to start with that height. Backspace, backspace, backspace. And we're going to do point. And then pull down for 5. I'm going to take this measurement and make it 2. Backspace, backspace, backspace. And then this one right here was 34. 3, 4, pull down. Make them green. Drag it down into place. It is real smart to click up on one of your good ones. So see how it says two green shapes. And I'm going to do a line. And I want it to align to this corner right there. Bingo. Now we can click down here and do our duplicate. And we can pull it up two clicks. We don't mess up if we don't touch anything else you can just do duplicate again and again and again all the way up your awesome roof all right friends so remember i mentioned that the real ones these are not as long watch this see that black handle we can pull it back to the correct size i'm going to say the real size probably should have been two so i'm going to backspace and i'm going to do the drag for two and then we can hit duplicate and we can just drag that over to the other spot. To help myself be accurate, I'm gonna zoom in and bang, I can drag it across. Now they moved a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the second one, choose a line, I wanna make sure this red one's the boss. Let's zoom out so I can see those dots better. And there's that dot I need right there. Did I get it? Heck yeah. So now I can simply hit show all and bring those other parts all back. Friends, I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. And this is where the challenge comes in. Make other cool things. Add furniture. Add people. Make a chair. Make a table. You've learned how to stack and adjust things. Now you can just keep making it more and more awesome. Don't forget you can also go to creatures and characters. Bring out the celebrating kid. Add him to your house. Now notice he's crazy huge. If we have this modifier held down, we can shrink him till he's the exact right size. It scales every direction all at once. If you make a mistake, just hit undo. I was trying to rotate him so he was looking the other way. I'm going to hit fit view so I can zoom all the way in on him. See if we can find that rotation handle. There it is. And I just want to grab that and I want to spin them around. Sometimes it takes a few tries, but once you get it, bingo. You got a celebrating kid. He's still too tall, so I'm going to shrink him. Once again, if you miss, just hit undo. I'm going to zoom out a couple clicks. Try that one more time. Holding the modifier, pulling down on the white button. Bingo. Now I've got him the right size. Now, friends, please have a ton of fun with this. Please make it awesome. All right, friends, after you're done adding all your epic things to yours, don't forget to name it. So instead of copy of Tinker Logs, I want you to name it Cabin and put your initials or something like that. So that way you know it's yours and you can brag about it. Speaking of bragging about it, this is how we save. Go back to Tinkercad and then click once on your cabin, click the gear, click the properties. Make sure you've got a cool name, add a fun description, add sweet tags, and then go down here, friends, and hit public. Once you hit public, please hit no derivatives, so that way other people have to follow the tutorial. And then you can hit save changes, and boom, now people can give you little reactions on your designs. It's that cool. Friends, real quickly, if you click up here on the gallery, it takes you to the main gallery where you can see all of the staff picks, which are super cool. Don't forget, though, you can also sort by recent. 
Check it out, friends. There is our cabin waiting for a cool reaction. One way to help yourself get reactions is to click on other people's projects and make sure you give them a reaction for the cool things they're creating as well. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with that project and you're getting good at using Tinkercad and your iPad. I do also want to remind you that I have got a website, hlmodtech.com. I have a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. While I'm out here, I do want to highlight the designer showcase. Friends, if you click this button, we have a designer directory. Tons of amazing designers have their profiles here. When you click on the profile, you can see all of their amazing designers designs sorted by likes. I like to have you sort by recent. When you click on that, you'll see all the latest creations. Friends, make sure you click on those awesome projects and give them reactions. Finally, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project. And if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.